Hi everyone, it's Bobby. I wanted to share with you a new project I just completed for Country Craft Creations Design Team. This is one of Tammy's exclusive collections called Santa's Little Helpers. Um, I just triple matted the front. I covered it with the red, the craft, and then the dark green, and then used a piece of design paper on the front. This is 8x8 eight eight, uh, medium weight chipboard, and this little um, die cut I guess um, and this one down here were in my stash I have several sheets of um, dies that have to be fussy cut that I've had for years and years and I just happened to be looking for something else and I ran onto these sheets which I haven't seen for a long time and this one just jumped out at me and I thought oh I have to cut that out and put it on the cover so on the back I used the the same method, the triple matting, and then I used the um, wooden spoons. And I used the, I, I started out using the mini cinch to make the pages, and I covered my chipboard, and then when I went to punch the chipboard, the mini cinch wouldn't punch through it. The chipboard, the medium weight with the triple mat was too thick, so I had to get out the big cinch and the big, bigger wires because you can see the mini cinch is a lot smaller and it just wouldn't hold it. So um, the cover, um, I used the one with the rolling pin and you'll see on one of the pages I actually fussy cut the rolling pin and this greenery and used it on a pocket. So inside the cover I just have a very simple pocket and I just cut around the design, the, um, the design paper and put it on green artisan and then I added a small red pocket inside and added a couple of tags and these are from the collection there's a whole sheet of little tags they're so cute so those just go back in the pocket like that and this one I put on some dark green artisan and it just tucks back in there and then on this side you have a little pocket I had started this before I took my um, trip out of town for Christmas and I had all my pages laid out and I wanted it to be somewhat of a mini album but somewhat of a junk journal so you'll see on some of the pages they reflect um, junk journal type embellishments or pockets or whatever but this one is more like what you would see in a mini album and it has a little pocket here on the front and I just put a bookmark and a tag in there needs the this one needs a hole in the twine and this one just needs a piece of twine and then there's a pocket here on the side and I just used a piece of the design paper this I would normally put a recipe card in but I couldn't print any of my recipe cards out because my printer is just wore out and I have a new one coming in a couple of days so I couldn't print anything out so you will see throughout here where I've used design paper that I normally would have put a cookie recipe or a cake or pie or something. I just thought this would be a neat dessert recipe book. So I have a little faux envelope here for my tuck spot. And I just have a piece of the green artisan and some um, vellum tucked under there, which I would normally put recipes. And then here's the rolling pin that I fussy cut out and put on this pocket. I thought that was really pretty. It really shows up well on the dark green. And another piece of the design paper in that pocket. Now this, the back side is something you would see in a junk journal where you've got the torn paper and layered up embellishments and vellum. And then I just have a little tag in there. And I cut out some greenery and just splattered some white paint on it. And I had this dream in the die to cut this in my stash. And then the next piece is, uh, the next page is acetate, and it's a little pocket on the front and the back, like that. So you can stick recipes or photos or whatever in there. And it's open on the back side as well, so you can put more there. And this is another one that would, you would see in a um, junk journal, with the torn edges and the pocket layered over the top another one of the little tags in there and this is a little circle embellishment I made God, I made a bunch of them a long time ago and I just used one of them here and a postage stamp from 
I don't know what collection it came from. It was just in my stash, so I put it there. And the reason I did these border plackets uh, to punch is because I felt like, you know, a lot of wear and tear turning them. They might, after over time, tear. So I added um, a three-inch strip and then scored it in half and then punched it so that it would have more stability and not be so inclined to tear. And on the back side, this is another kind of a junk journal type thing. <clears throat> have a pocket on top of this little folder. And I added the wooden spoons and some greenery there. And this one has a magnet. And it just has some vellum pages in a little tablet in here. You could add embellishments or write on it or whatever you want to do. And three little strips of the paper with some lace and a button with some twine on the button. This page I left plain because it's uh, got a real small typewriter script on it and I just thought it was so pretty. But you can add to it if you wish. This is another vellum page and this is a, a wrap around corner pocket. And I have three little tags in here. They all need their twine yet. I just cranked this one over to the left to hold this shut because there's not a magnet on that one. And it just has a little tablet in there with several sheets to write on. And it's just tied with a small piece of uh, baker's twine. And you can just untie it and add more sheets if you need to. So this little tag will hold it closed. Then when you flip it over, you've got, this is just a little booklet just tied with a piece of baker's twine. Where you can add photos or write a little note in it, whatever. This is another piece of the design paper in this pocket. And then I added a couple of envelopes, and these are just manila colored envelopes I had in my stash. And I wanted to use them so that I would have plenty of room for recipes. So that's what I will have in here once I get my new printer set up. And I just did some paper strips on the back side. This one actually comes from the cover sheet. And here's one of her tags on green. Another one of the envelope pockets. And on the back side, I just uh, tore out of a scrap and inked around the edges and added a little star and two vellum tags to it. And then we have another piece of acetate. This one's floral. I just think it's so pretty. And these acetates I had in my stash. And this is just one piece of the design paper to make the final page. So that is my album. I hope you enjoy it. I would love to hear your comments and your thoughts on this. Um, I do have uh, two new orders coming. One is my design team collection for January and the other is an order I placed. And I will be doing a walkthrough. I do know that I am getting Here Comes the Bride and Love Letters. And I'm sure you've already seen several of the designers post walkthroughs on them. And I've noticed recently, and not just mine, but everybody's walkthroughs don't get near as many views. And if you if you are one that tends not to watch the walkthroughs, you're missing a lot of information because often the designers know what they're going to do with the papers and they will give you a heads up of what's coming. So if you'll watch the walkthroughs um, of the halls when they get their new collections, then you will have um, advance warning what's coming. And if it's something you think you'd like to make, then make sure you have subscribed and click the bell so you will know when they post tutorials. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.